Hey guys, welcome to our Five on a Dime challenge for September. Uh, for those of you who don't know yet, this challenge is a challenge that me and three other very talented ladies came up with, where each month we choose five random objects um, and we have to make a project with them. Each one of us makes a project, and I will link um, I will link the um, the other ladies' videos below for you to check out. Um, but for this month we chose uh, it was Angela's um, turn to choose the prompts, and she chose stencil. Uh, butterflies, paper napkins, sorry silk ribbon and um, the fifth prompt was um, machine stitching or hand sewing. Um, so if you would like to join us um, with this challenge and make something with this prompt um, we would be so happy and very excited to see what you can come up with. But for me, um, this month I decided to make um, some kind of like tag sets. So I uh, I started with cutting out uh, several tags, different sizes, uh, different shapes. Uh, some of them like um, regular tag shape, some of them just circles. Uh, I cut them out from uh, tea stained cardstock and then I chose a few of them, about a half I guess, um, that I am going to be covering with napkins. So for this I uh, I also chose some uh, some of the napkins I had in my collection, um, mostly florals, nature related because I'm actually making some nature journals at the moment and I, I want to be able to add those tags or tag sets um, to my journals. And I'm using Mod Podge um to kind of decoupage those napkins onto my tags and I am no master of decoupage um I, I don't actually know what I'm doing here so I'm just covering my tag with Mod Podge then I'm uh, sticking the um the napkin on it and then I'm um, Mod Podging again uh, on the top <clears throat> very delicately with my brush so I don't tear the napkin I'm using a dry brush um, so I don't have um, too much liquid and I don't, I don't tear the napkins uh, that easily. Um, so I only chose a half of my tags <clears throat> because I'm going to be uh, doing something different um, with the other half, you will see what. Um, in a moment, I think, because I'm now um, going to let these uh, decoupaged tags dry um, and for the for the others I chose some Tim Holtz distress inks and I'm going to be following um, Andrea from Artemis um, technique with just smooshing some ink on my mat um, spraying some water over it and just kind of um, dabbing my tags um, in both colors. I chose peeled paint, which is the green one, and wild honey, uh, the beautiful, the rich um, golden one. And I'm just uh, randomly uh, just going over uh, over these um, the, the color that I've sprayed on my on my mat with my tags. And I love the effect. It gives such a beautiful random watercolor effect. Um, I really like it. And I decided to ink the edges with my um, with my Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. And I, the tags are not dry yet, so I'm kind of careful. Um, <clears throat> but I'm also not very particular about it I'm just um, I, I want some some definition on the edges of these tags okay um, so now um, I'm actually going to let those dry um, so I decided to cut off the excess of the decoupage tags and again they are not dry you know I didn't have my blow dryer with me this day so I couldn't kind of dry them quickly and um, I, I didn't feel like waiting but definitely if you have time or if you have like a um, 
um, like any kind of blow dryer with you or, or heating tool, um, just use it because it's much easier to work when your uh, paper is dry. Um, inking the edges, of course, uh, just so again add some definition to the edges uh, of the tags. I really like the circle one. <laughs> okay. Right, and now for um, for the other tags, I'm going to use stencils on them. So this is um, one of the prompts. The stencil that you can he see here, this is a Stamperia one. Um, I, I like the pattern, but I don't like that it's very thin, it's very flimsy, and I'm always um, worried that I'm going to tear it, but that the roses uh, are very beautiful and very defined, so, so I like using it. Um, so I'm using Vintage Photo to, um, to uh, make the impressions on my tags. They're not very, you know, they're not like in your face visible, um, they are more like in the background and this is what I was going for um, because I'm going to be adding some more on top of this so um, this is just building building the background for now. Um, the other stencil, I don't remember where I got it from, I think it might have been AliExpress. Okay, so now I'm going to be stamping. Um, so I've chosen a few stamp sets um, that I have in my stash, and I'm starting with this like a script text stamp. <clears throat> and for this, I'm using my Distress Ink this time, not Distress Oxide, um, Vintage Photo. Sorry, this is blurry for a moment there um, because it's kind of I don't know I, I feel that it's lighter uh, or maybe it's the fact that um, I'm running out of ink on this one but it's very light it's very um, subtle uh, and works perfectly for background stamping but then I'm going to be um, to be choosing some butterfly stamps and this is another prompt butterflies the, in the beginning, I thought I was going to be using some butterfly die cuts, <clears throat> but then I saw these stamps and I decided to stamp over my tags. Um, this is, I think, a Prima, uh, Prima stamp set. So I'm using archival ink, uh, which is more, um, I don't know, intense, I guess. The color is more intense than um, Distress ink from Tim Holtz. Um, and I'm just choosing the butterflies. Uh, now I'm going to scatter a few of these uh, smaller butterf butterfly stamps on my acrylic block and then just stamp randomly. Um, I, I don't even mind that not, you know, not all the impressions are clear. Um, again, um, I'm just building up the layers and um, I like the, the uh, end result of this. Okay, so this is... Uh, this for butterflies and I think I am going to be adding some more like some flowers. Yeah Okay, so some flowers and I'm changing from my archival link to my distress oxide again I think it's a bit lighter maybe So again, I'm, I'm trying to vary the um, the colors the tones, uh, the intensity of the colors, uh, even if they are all browns, um, then you can see, you can actually see the difference in the tone. All right, and now for some more stenciling, uh, I'm choosing the peeled paint uh, Distress Ink, which is the cool green color, and um, I have this the stencil, this is one of my favorites actually, it's from Tim Holtz and it's like this leaf pattern, I, I don't know, I see leaves when I see it and I'm just going over my tags and, and I like uh, like how it looks, you know, with the green leaves over um, all of my layers. <laughs> okay, and now um, another prompt was Surrey Silk. Sorry, silk ribbon. So I have this tango lot of um, sorry silk ribbons. Um, 
that um, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm trying to see what colors work. Most of these that I've chosen uh, are obviously green and there are some, um, some like powder pink colors that I think work really well with vintage style that I'm going for here. So I'm using, uh, so using, I'm choosing some, um, some pieces uh, that I'm going to be sewing uh, with my machine um, onto the tags. And I'm also trying out um, just this, you know, tying up, uh, tying up one of the tags to just see how it looks. So now um, I went to my machine and this is the end result, you can see I messily stitched um, those pieces of sorry silk ribbon to my tags and I really like the, the messy uneven look of them. And I'm also going to be tying um, a piece of sari around this one tag, so I'm going to be gluing it actually because I want I want this sari to stick. Um, so I'm gluing it on the back, uh, tying it on the front, and I'll be glu gluing again on the front uh, just for some uh, added security. And I like the effect it gives, you know, just tying the ribbon around um, your tag. It's, um, I think it looks cute. I'm going to cut off those longer ends just like that. Okay, um, so yeah, I think I'm going to be trying to, pa yeah, I'm going to be trying to kind of make some sets of tags uh, from, from these. So, uh, you know, you can totally just leave them like they are and just use them separately but I decided that they would look nice in sets so I'm choosing some of the decoupage tags and matching them with some of the uh, mixed media ones um, just just trying to see which um, combinations look nice uh, trying to see how I can um, actually um, join them you know <clears throat> whether I will use uh, eyelets or uh, some ribbons to to tie them together. So here in this first example, um, I'm using the circle tag and the like a regular regular small tag shape, and I'm joining them with an eyelet. I've had some troubles with it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm joining uh, I'm joining them with an eyelet. And I will be adding some ribbon or some, some additional decoration later. Now for this one, um, this is one of the biggest tags and I decided to use the circle and kind of, I'm using a brad, a metal brad here so that it slides uh, like this, slides out of the tag, um, which kind of gives you a secret tiny journaling space, I guess. I thought uh, it was a it was a nice idea and it just looks uh, pretty. And um, for those three tags, I'm joining them with um, just another piece of sorry silk. So I have one bigger tags and then two smaller ones. And I'm just leaving it like this for now. And he, uh, in this uh, last set, I decided I wanted to actually add another eyelet um, on the bottom of the smaller tag to add an even smaller tag. So uh, yeah, lots of tags in this set, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think it, it, it looks cool. So again, some sorry silk ribbon to join these two. And I am um, going to be adding some decoration later, some charms, some beads, um, just tying a bow here. Yeah, I really like how it looks. Uh, and for this one, I decided to choose some linen, wax linen thread. I had it in this really pretty yellow uh, color. And I'm just um, going to tie this tiny tag to, um, to the bigger tag through this eyelet. 
again this is something different you know um something that that the wax linen thread i think adds another texture uh, to this set and now i'm <clears throat> i'm using uh, bob pins and choosing some charms uh mostly flowers um some leaves um that match um this project and i'm going to be adding one uh charm and a few beads to each of these um so i'm just choosing some beads um again some pinks some neutrals um, just some colors that would match um match these tags and just going through the eyelet on this one and you will see in a moment how it looks uh, up close again um, for the second one um, a charm some beads and again i'm going um, to be going through the eyelet i really like this leaf charm very like old looking Okay, then for the third one, I decided to go through the, the sari ribbon. Um, it wasn't that easy, as you can see, but um, I got through and I just closed the bob pin and used just a simple flower charm. And on this last one, I, I've actually had some defect on my die cut um, with the last one. I, I've had this little, um, like a hole, so I decided to use it and, and put um, the ball pin through it, as you will see just here. So here I'm showing you the, um, the completed tag sets, and I'm going to be using them in my journals. I'm going to be adding them um, to my journals because I made them out of um, tea stained cards, so they have a nice space for journaling on the back. But obviously you can use them like sep separately, you can use them as happy mail objects, etc. Um, also, you know, there's no like no boundaries to what you can do with this. You can cut any tack shapes, you can uh, cut more circles or more other shapes, uh, whatever you want. You can use napkins, you can use mixed media, um, you can, you can, you know, you can select your sets, um, whatever way you, you want to. I just think that tags kind of look really pretty when combined in sets like this uh, with some uh, bigger ones some smaller ones and and some additional decoration like charms and uh, thread etc uh, and i hope you like it too i hope you will this uh, will give this project a try and also i really hope you will join us uh, this month um, on our challenge definitely be sure to check out the other ladies um, videos i'm so uh, interested in what they will um, come up with this month um, and I hope you guys have a great day. Um, and I see you, I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.